What's up, YouTube? This video is about overthinking and how it can take you to a place where, you know, you don't really want to be if it gets out of hand. I used to be, you know, a big overthinker. <laughs> I used to really like, I almost used to pride myself on that word. Like, oh yeah, I'm an overthinker. I, uh, meaning like, I'm an I'm a, a analytical kind of like, really look at, look at any situation, you know, up from top to bottom, any angle and just kind of overanalyze, if, if, you, if that makes any sense. You know, but sometimes overthinking, like I said, it can take you to where you don't want to be if you let it take control of you. And a lot of us sometimes allow um, our minds to use us uh, rather than us use our minds. And that's something that I, I read in a book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And um, that book really was instrumental and very helpful for me to expand my awareness and realize that I was an overthinker. I didn't even realize it uh, until I tapped into that book. But um, the book allowed me to be able to kind of expand my awareness a bit more. You know what I mean? Um, and what I mean by that is... When we get wrapped up in our thinking, our awareness, meaning our attention, is focused on whatever we're thinking about. So for example, if you're thinking about something that happened to you back in second grade, you know what I mean? That's where your attention is. You're not here in the present moment. You're off somewhere. And that's where, you know, the overthinking and, and the overanalyzing of past things and future things uh, can really kind of wreak havoc on somebody. So once I realized that, uh, you know, my thoughts were just thoughts, that's what they are, and that they're not necessarily true, that was, that was very helpful for me because I would get lost in the sauce, if you feel what I'm saying, like lost in the thoughts and just didn't know how to even get out. And, um, yeah, I was there for a while, but once you can kind of realize that uh, your thoughts are just kind of narrators of of what's going on in, in any given situation, you know, you'd be doing a lot better. Uh, so your mind and, you know, the ego too, likes to judge and critique and pretty much always has something to say about what's going on. All right, so... That's where we can get into these mental loops and um, the incessant overthinking. You're going to hear me saying that a lot throughout this. You know what I mean? So um, learning to expand your awareness, meaning learning to put your attention here in the moment. Now, how I've learned to do that is by tapping into the breath like what you just saw me do. So when I take a deep breath, it it grounds me. It brings me back to where I am. I'm here shooting this video right now. You know what I mean? I'm not off in la-la land or back in second grade or worrying about work tomorrow and stuff like that. That's where the overthinking starts. That's where it'll take us down that rabbit hole of what's to come, what's happened in the past, and, and, and all that nonsense. You know, and that's where a lot of uh, that's where a lot of people's problems live. And I just realized that I was a victim of my thinking for a very long time. And and once you realize that, it's it's eye opening, it's mind blowing, it's mind boggling, and you really can discover where the beauty is once you learn how to step out of that. If any of that makes sense, hopefully it does. But yeah, like meditation was very helpful for me too. Now I know y'all probably like, oh, here he go with the meditation shit. <laughs> but nah, seriously though, meditation, like it allows you to be able to, it's not, you're not gonna be able to turn your mind off. You can't turn it off. It's gonna always be producing 
uh, different thoughts and stuff like that. But meditation allows us to quiet our mind, not turn it off, but quiet it, uh, quiet it down and be able to become more aware of our thinking. That's where the key is. Once you become aware of your thoughts and the quality of your thoughts, that's how you can kind of realize like, all right, I've been sitting here thinking about such and such for the last two hours. And I feel like shit. I don't know if anybody else can relate to that if, you ever, if that's ever happened to you. You might be thinking about something from the past, from the future that's to come. Now it has, a, it has an effect on your body right here in the moment right now. So meditation is very helpful with um, learning how to slow your mind down to the points where you're not so bombarded with all the overthinking. Your thoughts almost kind of move to the back of your brain, it, it feels like. And uh, for me, it's almost like I have to reach for certain thoughts. If I have like a good meditation session or uh, my mind is real still, you know, like I said, you're not bombarded with all that, all that internal mental chatter. And that's where we want to be. We want to be where we're not bombarded with all the internal mental chatter, all that dialogue that's going up in here. It's about getting in your body and getting out of your head. And that's a whole nother video, you know what I'm saying? But this one is about the overthinking. I know it like plagues a lot of us. I was a victim of it forever. I still can fall into it, especially if I don't, um, you know, keep my practices up and do what I need to do to make sure, you know, to, to keep that shit from happening. Um, yeah, the present moment is where is where the beauty of life is, but it's how you get there. You gotta expand your awareness. You gotta wake up. You gotta put your attention on the now and not the past or what is to come. Just be right here, right now. All right, I'm out.